Now that we have learned the basics of Team CT and we have learned the basics of Octopus Deploy and we can compile our code, package it, send it to Octopus Deploy and deploy it to our target environments, it's time to learn more advanced topics so we get the best out of our CI CD system. So in this topic, we want to talk about cloud agents, which is at this time supported by Amazon Web Services. It's not supported by Azure or Google Cloud yet. So this topic will be interesting to you if you use Amazon Web Services. So what is cloud agent? You know that we can install Team City on any server. It can be Windows or Linux, and we can install again build agents on other servers. Again, they can be Windows or Linux. And you know that we can have multiple agents. Every time you install the agent service on an EC2 instance on Amazon Web Services, you will get an EC2 instance. In my case, I have a Team City server which is running on Windows, and I have a Team City agent. Again, is a server Server. It's an EC2 instance and it's connected to my Team City server. And you know that I can have multiple build agents. For example, I can have up to three build agents without having a license, and I can potentially pay and buy more licenses and get, for example, 10 EC2 instances just for running 10 build agents. This is great and it's very useful. However, it has a problem, and the problem is the cost because you know that when you use cloud resources, for example, when you use EC2 instances on Amazon Web Services, you are paying for what you use. Now, the problem is that if you have a large team that uses multiple build agents, the build agents are going to be always connected and therefore the instances are always running, which means they are going to incur costs. For example, if your team goes home in the evening, say after 5 p.m., up to next day that they come back to work, they are not going to use the agents but the agents will be there and you keep paying. And over time, this can be a significant amount of money that you have to pay for something you don't use. So the solution that Team City has is something that we call cloud agents. Cloud agents are EC2 instances that are created when you need a build agent and when build agent is not used for a given amount of time. For example, in this screen, you see that my agent is in idle state. If the agent stays and remains in idle state for a given amount of time, Team City will send the command to AWS to terminate that instance. So you won't pay anything. Again, if somebody wants to build a code, Team City will send a command to Amazon S Web Services, an EC2 instance will be launched, it will connect automatically to Team City, will run your build, and then again it gets terminated, which is going to save significant amount of money for your business and for your team. So how do we do that? What you need is basically a server that runs Team City agent on it. We have done this already, so there is no installation or anything. As I said, it can be a Windows server or it can be a Linux based server. For Windows, there is one extra step that you need to take I will show you right now if you don't use Windows don't skip this lecture because I come back and we continue in the same lecture so for Windows what you need to do is that you have to go to your build agent server which is in my case this is the server and to prove that you can see I'm running the team city build agents service in Windows and we need to sysprep this sysprep is basically one step that we have to take when we want to create an image from a Windows machine and if you don't know what that is don't worry about it because there is a utility that will do that just go to search box or click on the windows icon and just type ec2 there is a tool called ec2 launch settings and it will come up and what you need in here is that just make sure that administrator password is set to random and handle user data is checked. Then click on shutdown with sysprep. If you're not sure whether you have changed any of these values or not, just click on apply button once and then click on shutdown with sysprep and click on yes. Then do not touch the mouse and let the sysprep do its job and restart the server. The server will shut down. If you are not using Windows, you don't need to do this step, but you have to stop your instance. Do not terminate it, just stop your instance. Okay, now I'm disconnected. That means that my Windows is shutting down. We go back to Amazon console 
and in Amazon console, if I refresh, we see that our agent is stopped. Again, if you are not using Windows, just stop your instance by right clicking, going to instance state and clicking on stop. Now we can right click on your instance, go to image and then click on create image, provide a name. I highly suggest that you put dates when you create the image, put dates in the image name because later you can find your images easier. For example, we can say team city, let's do it like this agent and then we can put a date or we can say like v1 or something you can repeat this with description and you can provide the size for the disk and click on create image now the image is being created it's going to take a couple of minutes depending on the operating system windows is normally slow and once it's ready we go and set this up in team city Okay, so our image is created and it's ready. Apart from the image, we need two more things. One of them is that you need to create a user. I have already created a user. I call it Team City. The user should have full access to EC2. So as a role that you assign to it or as a policy that you assign to it, it should be EC2 full access. So my user has EC2 full access. And also you need a key pair. So I have created the key pair already while I was waiting for the image to get ready for creating an EC2 key pair you have to go to EC2 console and on the left side of the screen there is a tab called key pair just click on create key pair and put a name and you will get a key pair I have called it cloud agents now we can go back to team city and set up our cloud agent in order to create a cloud agent you need to have administrative privileges so you have to click on administration menu then you have to click on the root project and on the left side of the screen you will have cloud profiles sometimes the left side of the screen is like this then you just have to click on show more then cloud profiles will reveal itself then uh, when you go here click on create profile and provide a name for example we can say windows agents something like this and it's obvious that we can have more than one profile and make sure that you choose Amazon EC2 for the cloud type. You can use VMware Sphere as well, but there is no Azure or Google Cloud. Terminate instance idle time tells us that after how long the cloud agents EC2 instance will be terminated if it stays idle and doesn't do anything. Then we need to provide the access key ID and secret key, which we can grab either from the screen or if you have saved the CSV file by clicking on download csv button you should be able to grab it from your text file make sure that whatever region you have in your console and your image is there you choose the same region so for me the region is sydney i'm in sydney australia so we pick that maximum instances count tells us that how many of the build agents can be cloud agents if you leave this box blank then you get the maximum number of build agents possible for example if your license enforces three agents and you already have no agent then three of your agents can be cloud agents if you have one fixed agent then you will get maximum of two cloud agents now i normally leave this blank then before we continue we have to click on check connection button if you do this then team city will connect to amazon and will get the information we need for custom image name we can say like in those agent something like this source is your image you have to choose the image so for me i choose the image we created which was team city agent v1 and make sure that you place it in a subnet that your team city ec2 resides in it as well otherwise there might be connectivity issues and choose your key that we created in amazon console and for the instance type you can choose any instance i will speak to you about instances for a bit after we do this for now we can say for example t3a medium or something like this and for security group make sure you create a security group and you always assign that security group to your agent basically your agents don't need any port to be open because they talk to team city server team city server doesn't connect to them so let's assign default but again it doesn't matter because nothing will connect to this agent and we click on add so now you have one profile and we click on create your profile is ready so if we go to agents and make sure there is no agent we can remove all the existing agents now if i create a project and just provide a name like hello and click on create add a build configuration and we provide a name like build 
config one and empty so if i click on run then if i go to agents cloud agent becomes one as you see and this is an instance if i grab the instance id and i go in here to instances paste it in here you see that one instance is being launched and you just need to wait until the instance is launched it will automatically connect to team ct agent section it doesn't even need to be authorized when agents are launched by team ct they get authorized automatically you don't need to do anything now i need to speak to you about the instance type when we define the cloud agent so if i go back to root project and we go back to cloud profiles if you remember we chose instance type in here so this is my experience with uh, instance types if you can try to use linux based servers preferably ubuntu for two reasons firstly they are cheaper secondly they get launched much faster than windows for example if you use java php ruby dotnet core even you can use ubuntu or any other linux based operating system so prefer that over windows if you do have to use windows then try to use windows 2019 core not windows 2019 or 16 base the difference is that windows 2019 core doesn't have the user interface at all it only has the command prompt and you can run powershell script in it the benefit is that in terms of price they are not different but they get launched a lot faster way faster than normal windows by average in four minutes a cloud agent that is based on windows 2019 core will be launched and connects to team ct for other types like for windows 2016 or 2019 base which does have the graphical user interface it becomes like 12 minutes or something like that so while i was explaining this if you notice the agent connected as i said sometimes when agents connect they take a couple of minutes to update themselves that's why you see that they may go to disconnected and come back but because we said that the agent can be idle for 30 minutes this agent will stay here for 30 minutes so disconnected agent and after 30 minutes this agent will disappear and this instance will get terminated automatically you have the option of enforcing termination from the cloud tab as well so if you have this agent here you can click on stop and enforce stop or you can even manually launch a new instance so if i go to console again and i refresh you will see that the agent that we had is shutting down now there should be another one coming up which is the one on the top and that is because i clicked on start so if you use cloud agent you are going to save a lot in the course of a year or so for example uh, and that's good for keeping your projects within the budget